Hi guys, welcome to the channel Practical Reefer. My name's Mark. Now today we're going to be talking about the Red Devil um, RDC 250 uh, protein skimmer. Now again, this is another purchase of mine off of the favourite AliExpress. So one slight issue, or not an issue really, um, I got this for the pricely sum of £62. However, it does come with a, I believe it's a European plug. However, it also came with a very nice adapter to a, a UK plug, so no problems there. It's also a very simple bit of kit. It's a, an AC motor or an AC pump. It's a, a needle wheel impeller at the bottom there, um, which runs it. And it looks like a quite a simple bit of kit. Um, however, I've, I've heard a couple of people say they quite like them. They've used them before. Um, and I also do plan to run a refugium. So not relying on this fully for my, all my skimming needs or my, my nutrient control. Um, however, it is suitable for 50 to 250 litre tanks. So obviously I've got the Reefer XL200, so it should be enough to to work on the tank. Obviously, um, I'm not going massively size. Big thing about this for me, um, I'll hold that lid, uh, is the size of the skimmer or the footprint. Now it's 90, or sorry, 100 by 140 mil at the bottom. Now, obviously the the motor sticks out there. I put that that way for a reason, which I'll show you later. Um, it's just to stop that airline tubing from kinking. Um, so I put it like that and it probably runs best. You can turn it round. Now disassembly wise as well for this skimmer, um, literally the, the pump actually just sticks into the sort of the wine bottle body, if you want to call it that. And it's just a um, interference fit really. So you can just pull that out and disassemble the pump. Now it can go in this way, but I found that the, the bit of tubing would kink if it goes in that way, which is your absolutely smallest footprint, but um, being what it is, you're probably better, I find, going that way and just allowing the tubing to not kink. So your water's drawn into the pump here, and then it's shot out into the, the skimmer there. And then what this piece of tubing that we saw at the bottom there, air is drawn in through there through the silencer, which can be adjusted. Um, and then obviously that's where your air bubbles are coming from, from the skimmer. And then the other adjustment is this red pipe here, which you can see we've got the, the two arrows um, sticking together. So that's at the fully open position. Now it might be quite hard to see on camera there, um, but that's the, the pipe. I'll try and turn that and just see if you can see, uh, get the position there. So you might be able to see that the pipe closes up there and that almost closes off. And that's the fully open so that's where we that's where we want to start and then obviously we can start to twist it either way and it will start to close off the um the volume of water that's been sucked into there as well so that's the that's the skimmer oh put the sensor back on i've knocked that and then we've got the skimmer lid one thing i would say the skimmer cup is a little bit small um but obviously i'm not trying to rely on this for all my skimmer needs the full thing does also come off so it's easy to take downstairs get into the sink and uh, give it a good wash out or tip it outside and then start washing it out. One thing I do quite like, um, even though it is quite a small collection cup, if I was going away, um, I could use this bit of tubing. There's a little port in the bottom there. Um, I'll try not to pull this apart with any force. There's a little port at the bottom, um, which has a little plug in it so it can stay sealed. However, with this bit of red tubing, I could potentially have that drain into a container, whether that be outside the sump or maybe something like a jug sitting in the sump overhanging just for, maybe if I'm away for two weeks, I could have the skimmer cup drain into something a little bit bigger than, than what's there. Or at least maybe for a week it would cover me no problem. So it's uh, very, very solid. It looks pretty decent. Um, again, the, as you see the skimmer cup, the whole thing comes off. These parts all disassemble. The pump just literally pulls out. The only thing that's a bit solid is the actual the base, which is the just three parts of acrylic which are glued together, um, and then the body is glued onto that, and that I believe is uh, solid on there, so that's not going to come apart. That's something you maybe just want to run in citric acid, and it'll probably clean up no problem later on. But what I'll do, I'll get this set up. Um, I'm just going to do this tonight. Uh, we'll get this in. I imagine this is going to take a little bit of time to bed in. The ideal depth for this is 15 to 18 centimeters, whereas my sump's running at 20 just now. So I might need to sit just a little something under it, but I'm just going to get it in the tank tonight and get it on and get it running and try and get it bedded in over a few days. And then we'll come back in about a week's time. Hopefully um, we'll see some nice skimmy in this and we'll 
we'll have a little chat about what it's uh, or how it's running and we'll come back so guys i'm just going to quickly film the, the skimmer going into the sump uh, we'll see how this goes i think the water's just a little bit too deep for it but we'll see what it's like we'll get it in um, i've just quickly plugged it in but the switch isn't on i've actually managed to turn the pump around so it's its kind of smallest footprint there's an ever so slight kink in the air hose um, just with it coming forward into this bit but we'll see how that goes let me just get that there slight kink there but i think it'll be okay um, if not we can always turn it around but it's just to try and take up the least amount of space possible so what i'm hoping to do is to pop the skimmer in well i'll just show you um turn it around that way so the cable comes there i'm just going to add to my water volume just ever so slightly so i can hear the baffles overflowing so the plan is to try and sit my skimmer in there and then it leaves the rest of my sump free for either a or a fugium would be the simplest option or possibly using these little frag racks that i made up and i showed with i did the tiles and uh, actually grow some corals in the main sump and have a refugium hanging on the side but we'll work on that later main thing is to get the skimmer in um, i'll actually just leave the cable there i'll tidy that up later so pop that there i've got the lid because that'll just fall off if i just leave it and i've also taken off the the red rubber hose um which would go onto there but the little port's plugged as you can just see um i'll go just zoom in properly so that's the skimmer sitting in there. I do actually need to get a light for the sump now. So we're sitting in there, we've got water in it. Um, obviously nothing's adjusted, it's just sitting fully open. So let's just pop it on. And there we go. Um, plenty of bubbles there on the bottom. Let me just tilt the camera down. What I might actually do is just move the skimmer over because it doesn't need to sit exactly there just now. So guys, only took a few seconds there playing with it and just seeing how it works. Now, as you can see, the red tube here is at its maximum open position. The two white arrows are pointing towards each other. Um, I'm now going to start to turn those and I've had the foam starting to come into the, the neck of the cup, but not actually into it. So I'm just going to do it now just to show you how that works. further and we'll just keep adjusting that and you can start to see the bubbles now rising up into the skimmer neck it might just need a little bit more adjustment. And obviously this is the first time it's running, I'm expecting it to take a while to bed in, but seems to be doing the job straight away. Might just give it a slight little turn. And we're just, and now we're starting to see bubbles come over, probably that's a bit of a wet skim. Just trying to find the fine point. What I will probably do now is just let this run for a couple of days. Just barely skimming enough. I think that's going to be perfect there. As you can see, it's just starting to creep. Excuse the camera. It's just starting to creep over. I think that's going to be perfect. That's literally taken me a couple of, well, less than <laughs> a couple of minutes to adjust. Um, it seems to be doing the job, so we'll leave like that. Leave it like that for just a, a couple of days. I'll probably leave the lid off the skimmer uh, collection cup in case it does overflow. Um, I expect that it's going to take a while to bed in, but we'll come back in a few days and we'll see how it's performing. So scrap that last comment guys, I'm not going to take the skimmer collection cup lid off because I'm just going to end up with a uh, salty spray all over my sump. Um, but it seems to be doing the job there, it's a little bit drier now. Um, 
so we'll just leave that alone and we'll, uh, we'll come back in a few days but that's it working away very very simple to adjust um, obviously it might take a bit of fine tuning later on but we'll see how we get on and we'll come back and here we are the next morning guys just a quick check on the skimmer looking really good so guys here we are about two and a half days later I actually I emptied the skimmer cup the morning after I set it up um, it was a little bit of a wet skim I would like a drier skim um, to get closer to a week out of it um, but yeah looking good two and a half days it's filled up the skimmer cup there and um, we'll get that emptied we'll have a little look at it a little bit of tuning we'll get it to a nice dry skim and uh, I think this will do the job absolutely brilliantly I'm going to be in the sump at least once a week anyway doing sort of auto top off and well I'd say at least twice a week just checking on the sump so that should be perfect and uh, it, it does seem to be making a difference the sump looks cleaner and um, the water clarity in the actual tank uh, looks cleaner although the reflections are terrible um, but yeah things are looking good for £60 it's a cracking skimmer seems to be absolutely doing the job and this is just a couple of days in I'm sure once it beds in and I get it tuned a bit better hopefully get a slightly drier skim um, it'll work even better but looks as though it's absolutely doing the job so guys, there we have it, um, two and a half, three days worth of uh, skimmy into the collection cup there. Now, I would like a bit of a drier skim so that the collection cup lasts a bit longer. Probably still got another half a day out of that, um, but it would be quite nice if it, it lasted a solid week, just on the occasion that I was going away on holiday and I could, I know I can leave the, the fish for a week, the corals are fine for a week, the ATO is fine for a week. If I can get the skimmer to do the same and the floss, I mean I change that once a week, I don't touch it. Um, so if the skimmer could follow suit then I'm quite happy to go away for a week and leave the tank and not have to worry. Um, it just gives you that sort of level of freedom to go away and do things. But yeah, as we can see, um, nice fairly dark skimmy. Um, I'd like it a bit drier so it does last a bit longer. And you can see there on the inside of the lid um, the sort of filth that's pulling out of the tank. So absolutely doing the job for £62 now. Um, at the moment, I don't know what they're coming in at, I bought this maybe about 9 months ago and prices have been going up quite drastically at the moment unfortunately. So it might cost you a little bit more but for a budget skimmer, absolutely doing the job. Um, very very decent bit of kit for what it is. And it's got that small footprint so I can tuck it off to the side and I can potentially use the sump to grow out some frags or have a bigger refugium um, which will be the other side of my uh, filtration for the tank. So really really happy with that. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video guys again it's one of those ones that i hadn't seen a lot of videos for this online so i thought it was a good one to to share with people um hopefully you find it useful if you're looking at something like this and you've not seen one in use before but uh, give me a little like below guys don't forget to comment let me know what you think of the the video um, and i'd love it if you could subscribe as well thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you all next time